We're going to look into image processing within MATLAB. I'm going to develop this code with sections, and so whenever you see 2% signs, it means that it's going to be a new section, and what that allows me to do is to run the code by the section, and then it's just going to allow me to debug it a little faster for me. To get the image in, we're going to use imread, and then um, just signify the file we want to open uh, and assign it to a variable. We can then, either using the command window or right in the code, select I am show, and it will display the image as such. What's then of value though is that we can use I am tool and pull in either our variable or our picture name, and we can then inspect the pixels within it. And so we're going to inspect the values, and I can go in, I can see right here that I have an RGB image, and we have uh, a value between 0 and 255. And so our red is 34 of that, our green is 16 of that, and our blue is almost no blue in that, that brown there. And all our pixels are going to have that. And how it's broken up typically is so like if I'm doing red of my RGB, it's going to be all of the red, so all 255 of it, some of the green, some of the blue. I mean, none of the green, none of the blue. And then my purple is going to be half red, um, no green, and then all the blue. And these colors are mixed to get all the different colors within the rainbow. And we'll see that. The next thing we can do is we can measure distances within the matrix. And so we're going to go in and I've selected the diagonals of all the quarters, of all the nickels, of all the dimes. And then I'm able to put those into a table. So like all my quarters have a minimum diameter of 56 and a maximum diameter of 57. It's kind of nice that they're consistent. I've only got one dime. You actually need to measure this nickel. And then, so you know it's less than that. And then we've got our pennies are 44 to uh, 48, really. So this is my new section. We're now gonna start working with the image. And we can see that this image is actually layered. So it's an X, Y, and Z. Um, and we've got 300 by 400, and there's three layers to it. And so I'm going to set each of those layers up as a new uh, variable. And so I'm going to go in, grab my, my variable for my image. I'm going to do all of my X, all of my Y, and then all of my first layer, um, and then my second, and then my third. And what that does is I lose the color in it but I get the same gradient of values within black and white and so I can do an IM show for my blue, red, and green and see that they look similar but we're only seeing the values of the blue, um, the green, and the red. I'm then going to use IM binarize and what that's going to do is it's going to allow me to select my image and give a threshold value. That threshold value is then going to take our image and sort it so that um, everything that's below that value will be white, everything that's above that white value will be black, and it gives us a new image here. And that's going to help just sort of clean it up a little bit so we can go in and find these circles to get the diameters of the circles. We then have uh, the ability to combine them. So we've got three images, so we might as well use them, and so we're going to invert them. So we can get this black, this white on black image, and we'll plot all those together just to make sure that they're all looking appropriately, uh, and that's going to allow these circles to be even cleaner, as you see. And once we have that, we can go in to our thresh thumb, which is that new uh, image we developed by combining them, and we can look for circles. And we're going to look for circles in relationship to the sizes of our coins, and that's going to be by radiuses. And so if it's a 60 radius, 60 diameter, we need to have 30, of course. And we want to look for just below it to just above. And that way we don't get that, like circles for like the size of Lincoln's head or something like that. We're then going to uh, get centers and radii in two different setups. And so the centers is going to be a matrix that is uh, 2 by 11. And the radii is just going to be 11 values. And that's giving us the X and Y location and the... Uh, the radii size. I can then start a new um, section. So once that's happened, I can see that I have those values. I can then go in and I can start looking for the size of my coins. So I've got the size of quarter equals 27. And so that is the um, 
the radius of, of the diameter that I got from the IM tool. I've got my quarter set to zero. I'm going to go into all coins equals length of radii. Um, so we're going to have that. And then for index, we're going to bring in one to however many coins this counted in within my radii. We're going to go into coin equals the radio times the index. So I'm measuring my first one. And we're going to go in and ask it, is that coin greater than the size of the quarter? Um, so is that the, the radius there greater than 27? And by doing that, if it is, we're going to take quarter and we're going to add one to it. And when we end this whole for loop, it goes through and it checks all of my values. We can get it to where this quarter adds up to how many it is. We multiply by 25 and we get the change. And so what you need to do is you need to take this and modify it potentially with an if-else and do it for your dimes, do it for your nickels, and do it for your pennies so it will actually calculate up all your change. Um, that last part was kind of complex, and so I'm going to start a new section right after it. And this is where we're going to split our work. So we're going to do a similar plot that we did earlier with the, the different thresholds. And so we want it to be our original image, uh, the threshold of our the color, our combined thresholds, and then our, um, our original image with the radii over top of it. And so, and I also want you to plop in the, the scent value there. And to do that, to get the circles, we're going to use visualize circles or viz circles and the centers in the radii uh, equals C. And when we do that, it should plop those in there with red circles around each of our coins, which will be pretty cool. Good luck with it.